We're here on the pitch with the Newcastle Nobos to look at how alcohol and distractions can have a serious impact <laughs> on your driving. Here's the boys showing us how it's done. Easy, yeah? But even just a small amount of booze can seriously affect your coordination. <laughs> Let's see how these lads get on when they have the old beer goggles to contend with. Michael Stowe, hicker. Go on then, Michael. Show us how it's done. <laughs> well, that's about two and a half feet, I reckon. Johnny Ward, four back. Johnny, you can't do much worse. <laughs> oh, yes, you can. Ian Dodds, back row. Right, Ian, it's up to you to show these clowns how to do it. <laughs> oh, not even close! <laughs> so, was it tricky with the beer goggles? Uh, really difficult, you know, you think you know where it is, but, um, you know, obviously you can sort of see there, you're absolutely miles away. There was no spatial awareness whatsoever, couldn't even tell where it was. Lose your balance as well, too easy. Horrible. A quick drink before the game? It I mean, it wouldn't work. Know, it wouldn't, no, absolutely not. And driving after a few beers? Well, absolutely. Not worth your life. No, absolutely not. Uh, you can, we see there that uh, you think you know where, uh, where things are, but uh, you know, we've just proven there that um, it's, it's not. You've got to be concentrating 100% while you're driving, which is why doing this is very, very naughty and can get you up to a £1,000 fine. Right, let's chuck a phone in the mix and see how he gets on when he has to send a text to his mum saying that he's going to be late for his tea. <laughs> OK, could we go any slower? I'm not convinced that text is going to make too much sense. Dodzy, that's nothing like you were supposed to write, mate. You're supposed to tell your mum that you're going to be late and that you're getting the metro. One thing, one right. thing. When you're driving, stopping distances are made up of thinking distance and braking distance. Go on, down the hatch. Now, after a couple of these, his thinking distance is longer because his reactions are slower, which means... Oh, ouch. Early bath for you, sunshine. The force of impact of a typical rugby shoulder tackle is around 0.2 tonnes, pretty much the same as you feel being in a car hitting a tree at 10 miles an hour. Increase that to 30 miles an hour and the force increases by 8.5 times. And if you don't wear a seatbelt, it's a massive 15.4 tonnes, which is 77 times the hit. That's going to do more than rattle your boat. We'd like to thank the team for being such good sports. Whoa! Looks like we beg out of here! And remember this, if you're having a few drinks watching the rugby, don't be a loser. <laughs>